Cindy in the Machine. Stop or else the boy gets you. I do not see the part where that is my problem. Mission accomplished. Joe, I know you're on the toilet and you're watching this, drinking your coffee, consuming your beer. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> if you're time thefting from your boss right now, hey, we've all been there. Do something important for me. Leave that comment in the comment section down below. I love reading those comments when I'm on the toilet, and I'll read those comments when you're on the toilet, like right now. So get down there. I really do appreciate it. It appeases the algorithm god, a god of which who enjoys your interaction with my channel. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon, excellent way to support the channel. We do giveaways, behind the scenes content, early access to videos. There's a Discord. You can stay up late, talk about girls. We can talk about who's our favorite Blade Runner fantasy girl. I don't know why I said that. Merchandise, also an excellent way to support the channel. All right, let's dive into the AK-105. Now this AK-105 is going to be from Palmetto State Armory. Now the relationship I have with Palmetto State Armory is a very pen palish relationship. I did reach out and I asked for uh, essentially guns for them to send over because one reason is, is I was at SHOT Show in 2022 and I actually really liked a lot of the stuff they were bringing out. Yeah, it's not gonna be like crazy high quality duty use, but as a consumer, a consumer, they were bringing newer stuff to market and especially cool AK-100 series rifles such as this caught my eye. Now you guys did see the AK-103 video. If you haven't, I'll link it in the description up above. It's gonna be floating around. I think it's always on this side, but that AK-103 video is gonna pop up over here. So you can go and check that out if you want. It's just another 762 by 39 AK, but it's still cool showing it off for you guys. Now, to me, it's not like a duty gun, right? As an American, at least. <laughs> if you're a Ukrainian or a Russian, this is probably gonna be a duty gun. <laughs> but you would actually have a Russian AK, right? Or actually a Russian AK-105. So I exist in the shooting genre space that is, it's kind of like every rifle you own needs to be a fighting rifle, right? And I agree with that to some capacity. I'm getting to the point where I just want to collect cool guns just because to me they're cool. And that's a cool part of life being in. But if you're younger and you don't have as much funds and you really are focusing on a fighting rifle for self-defense, I would always lean towards an AR-15, a good reputable mid-tier brand. Now another thing is that this isn't necessarily going to be a firearms review because yet again older brother Grantham has done a pretty much very in-depth thorough review on the Palmetto AK-74. He has two videos. He has the initial one where there was problems and yet another one where they essentially Palmetto said they fixed the problem. So I'm not going to do a high round count on this. I'm not going to do like a torture test. <laughs> This isn't my like style. My personal style, if you are new here and you're wondering what is going on, essentially I like to show off cool guns that I like, that I think are cool. It isn't necessarily review in depth because me personally, I have the two guns that I know I'd go into the end of the world with and maybe like a few other things like grenade launchers and rocket launchers that preferably I would have with me or belt feds. But essentially my two apocalypse guns are gonna be a good AR-15 and a good Glock 17. That's, I'm, I'm a very vanilla kind of guy, all right? 
but everything else is kind of like a bonus and extra fun to me. Another disclaimer is that I'm not an AK expert. I'm a guy who enjoys shooting AKs and running AKs. So I always like to encourage you to take everything I say and do with a grain of salt. Yet again, I'm a guy on the internet wearing a ball of club and making internet gun YouTube videos. So if you're taking my word as gospel, you're probably wrong. I'm just showing you something that I like to do. And that is shoot this AK-105. I do like this gun, like I was saying. I like it a lot for what it is, but I also think there are downsides to it just because of the nature of it. The biggest thing I don't like is going to be this break. And it's the, essentially it exists by necessity due to NFA regulations, or it's a pin and welded muzzle device to the end of this barrel to make it the overall length of 16 inches. So thanks NFA. Now that's not really Palmetto State's fault. I think they did a creative way of getting around it with like this crowned looking muzzle device over here where it's like it's almost giving me like window breaker vibes so i don't hate that but uh the break itself was very uh fireball-y inside so if you actually want to use it seriously especially with a night vision setup how i kind of have it uh, you're definitely gonna want a suppressor <laughs> you're definitely gonna want a suppressor otherwise you're gonna start shooting everyone's gonna be like oh there he is there's the fireball shooting at me so that's definitely one thing biggest least favorite part i haven't put enough rounds through it for me to be like oh this gun failed or it passed it's not necessarily what i was going for with this video it's more so like um i wanted a collector's piece style ak 100 series rifle now of course it is cool to build your own ak and if you want to learn how to build your own ak becoming an accredited gunsmith through sdi is not the only way to do it but it is a good way to do it so a big thank you to sdi for being one of the sponsors of this video Go learn, become squared away, and maybe one day you can help me out with my own crazy builds. I could really use the help, actually. Now, the AK-100 series, if you're not unfamiliar, is essentially Russia's attempt to modernize their older AKs and standardize parts and their SOPs as far as the rifle goes. That came about in, I think, the 90s to 2000s. And keep in mind, I'm not a Russian historian expert. I'm a very loose and fast kind of guy. I do admire some of the kit, though. Great Shop, a Russian company, sent me a lot of kit before the war in Ukraine kicked off. But I think you could still maybe source some, but the finances there has been a little um, interesting for those guys. But anyway, I digress. Now, Palmetto's AK-105 they sent me is going to have the plumb furniture and it's going to have the side trunnion rail that you can throw an optics mount on. Now, before we dive into the gun too much, yet again, going back to the AK-100 series, I do love the fact that Palmetto has brought to market uh, the 100 series for the consumers. Essentially... This is essentially going to be a video for the American consumer or other countries that can get their hands on firearms. Um, European countries like Finland, Sweden, Germany actually have a really good following comparatively in Germany for whatever reason. So to my German friends, hey, thanks for watching. Now, they can own firearms in those countries. They do have much stricter rules, so I'm not sure if they can get their hands on some Palmetto guns. But nonetheless, for my American guys, this is actually a kind of your gateway drug to an AK because there are a few things you can do to essentially acquire an AK. Of course, you can buy it from a main manufacturer. You can build them in your garage, and that's pretty much it. Now, as far as this goes, this is going to be the easiest and the fastest way to get an AK-100 series rifle, especially an AK-105 chambered in 545 by 39. Now, John, before we go any further, I, of course, have to thank some of the biggest supporters of this channel, my Patreon. I started a segment recently, and that segment is giving my Patreon a voice in my videos. And that voice is from Fitz Chivalry. Fitz Chivalry says, and I quote, the Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. Wow, Fitz Chivalry, very deep, mega based. Another thing to talk about real quick, and I know you're probably all staring at it, like, what the heck is this optic setup? Well, this is gonna be a riser, <laughs> yeah, the cheek weld on this is kind of freaking awful, but honestly, if I'm running it with this weird visor, it actually, I can actually get my dot almost, like almost get my dot a good weld. It's very goofy, of course, and I mainly was thinking about it in the terms of running with night vision. Industrial strength, night vision goggles. Because having your tubes on, getting that sight picture with the Trigicon MRO. So there's been a lot of controversy around the whole optic setups and stuff like that. But honestly, if you don't work out, then your opinion doesn't really matter on this. Oh! 
So go get physically fit because that is the most important thing when it comes to fighting and firearms ownership. So been rocking this setup for the gun for a little bit, but I don't love it per se. I do love running me some AK irons. It just gets back to the roots of being that Eastern man peasant style rifle and I do enjoy it. Coming back to the aesthetics of the AK-105. Now, aesthetics being a big part of firearms ownership, a lot of reasons why we go out and buy guns is why, guys? Because they look freaking cool. That's one of the main reasons you're drawn to certain firearms platforms. And guess what? That's okay. That's absolutely okay. If it, it is, it's your life, it's your fight, it's your gun fight, I can't tell you what to do. All right, you have the rest of your life to figure it out if you're getting shot at. But aesthetics play a big part into firearms ownership. And for me personally, I love the look of the 100 series like I was saying earlier. And I even love it without the Zinico furniture because it just has this like, this has this look. Of course, it's missing the option to mount a weapon light if you don't have the right tools like this RS Regulate AKM barrel mount that also works on the 74. It doesn't have the good optic ready, you know, quad rail up here. You have to have the side rail attachment. You know, that is kind of a pain, but once you get those stuff, it does give the option for more modularity and always you can return to the most simplest form of it just broken down a nice ready truck gun nice ready cqb gun home defense gun whatever you want to use it for it's your prerogative it's a free hunch now there are some things about this gun a little things that bug me like such as the the looseness of certain parts like this bad boy seems looser than it is on my other ak's um that could just be a qc issue but it's kind of annoying so Keep that in mind when you're getting it. The safety was a little bit looser. It's just like, it's a really good, like easy to disengage, but for whatever reason, I wanted to be like 10% stiffer. Uh, that's what she said. We also have to thank LAS Concealment. LAS made this sick John Wick looking P30L holster for me. A little outside the waistband, but they also make inside the waistband stuff. They are a local Arizona company and I appreciate them supporting and sponsoring the channel. So a big thank you to LAS. Now, one thing to consider with this gun is the cost of an actual AK-100 or an AK-105 kit. The actual AK-105 is like a Russian AK-105. If you want to build one out, it's going to be in the upper thousands of dollars now, especially with all the conflict going on in Ukraine. It's just going to drive parts kits and all the other parts up that you need, and it's going to make it much more than you want to spend on an AK-100 series gun, right? It'd be like spending thousands and thousands of dollars on a regular M4. It's just like... It's more than they should be. And sometimes that's just how the gun market goes and it's a real big bummer. Now, I do like that Palmetto stepped in and started making these because it's like, hey, I want to own an AK-100 series, but I'm not a fanatic AK guy that I have to have a Russian AK, but I still want one, right? Does that make sense? I believe it does. So this is a good gap. This one, I think, went for around $1,100. And that's before taxes and all that stuff. So thanks, King Ooh. George. But it's still a very affordable gun. Now there is another topic and that is the fun factor. For me, the fun factor of this gun is pretty high. I think running AKs is a blast. I enjoy running AKs. I have a fun time running AKs. Very nice time running AKs. I pick up an AK, I say, wow, what a fun gun this is. But um, <laughs> unsubscribe. So that's essentially my thought process. This gun is fun, it's affordable, and it's a good time. Is it a go-to duty gun? No. Could you use it if you had to? Yeah, you could probably, probably use it if you had to. You'd probably be dead before you run its course. So that's kind of the nice thing about it. And I think overall, this is a good pickup in my mind if you have the disposable income for it. If you're balling on a budget, by all means, man, hey, don't financially strain yourself just to get these guns. But if you do have the means, and I say go buck wild, okay? So there is that to it. I am bad advice, Billy. I say yo well, f it, we ball. Gentlemen, we of course have to also thank Arms List. Get back to the mercantilism of gun ownership, another option for broadening your horizons. Now we have guns like the Jim 4 built AK-74. Now, it's just, what makes this gun so much better? Well, so you have to realize the kind of craftsmanship that's gonna go into a Jim Fuller rifle. Uh, he has been building AKs for years. He knows his craft. He is essentially an artist when it comes to it. So if you have the chance and you have the finances to do it, I would always say, hey, go for it. Take the leap, do the jump, but it's gonna cost money to get it built. It's gonna cost money to get the parts kits. You know, AK-74 parts kits are hard to get now. Ammo for the AK-74 is maybe, it's not terribly expensive, but the thing that's gonna hit me up are the good 74 mags. I don't like the 74 P mags as opposed to say legit Russian made, of course, 74 mags. And those are gonna be expensive. I think I paid anywhere from 45 to 60 bucks a mag for these bad boys. 
that's a steep price for an AK part. When, when, you, when you think of AKs as an American guy, you think of the AK being like, um, kind of like the poverty style weapon, right? I, I could probably get an AK for like 500 bucks, get the mag super dirt cheap, and that's not really the case anymore, sadly. But yet again, return to this Gym 4 built. Of course, you can see the Zinico furniture. I had to throw the Zinico furniture on there, especially after the war, yet again, in Ukraine kicking off. Kind of spiked up that furniture cost, but I did manage to snag it before the inflection. After having this Gym 4 built AK for a while, I can tell you now, it's a very nice gun, like I've been just harping on it and, and, and loving it. And I'm not afraid to love on this gun because it is a fantastic weapon. But how does the 105 stack up against that? You know what? As, a, as an AK novice, as an AK appreciator, it's of course, yet again, not going to be as good, but it still feels like a quality rifle. Using this, running it, even with a stock trigger, because that 74 over there has an ALG trigger in it, running this bad boy, it feels, it feels good. Like there's not like any bad wobble in this thing. And I don't know if PSA did the thing where they hand selected me a rifle, um, you know, give them the benefit of the doubt they just grabbed one off the line or even if they did select one, they gave me a good rifle. Well, gentlemen, I'm sure the AK fanatics are gonna be very reasonable in the comment section down below. I think this concludes the video on the Palmetto State AK-105. So again, big thank you to Palmetto State for sending over this 105 for this video. Big thank you to them. All ammo is supplied by myself, but uh, that aside, very cool gun. It's very fun, has a nice aesthetic to it, and I think it's a good piece for your collection. Gentlemen, if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon is an excellent way to support the channel as well as merchandise. Merchandise helps keep the lights on here as well as paying my cameraman, not with money, but with sushi. He greatly appreciates it. He specifically, wherever he's in, told me he doesn't want to get paid in money, but in rolls of sushi. Weird, weird flex, but all right, we can do it for him, okay? As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip. Ah, <laughs> oh,